Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today I'm going to show you how to take some wonderful metallic foils and create a custom hat for any occasion. This is going to be a super fun project. I found this hat at Hobby Lobby for nine bucks, you guys. It might have even been on sale, who knows. But I thought this would be great to foil and make for a fun river hat, lake hat, whatever. It's time for summer. So I'm gonna be using our Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive. And you'll find this on our website. It comes in multiple different sizes but this girl's always working out of her bucket, okay? So I've got my gallon bucket. You can see it looks milky white in the container. And I do advise always, no matter if you're working out of that little jar or if you're working out of a gallon, quart, whatever, take it out of the jar and put it onto what I refer to as a sticky plate. And all a sticky plate is, is a foam plate that I have layer and layer and layer of foil adhesive on here but it allows me to take it out of the container, put my lid back on so your product will stay fresh. And if I wanna use it directly out of the container, I can. If I wanna add water, I can add water to my plate and mix it in. But we're gonna go full strength because we want this to be thick as it can be and give us really good coverage. And I am just going to go ahead and brush it on. Now, if I don't end up with a perfect line here, I'm most likely gonna come back and put some kind of a band or something on there. But you wanna be generous with this because we need to make sure that when we're ready to transfer our foil, we have a nice good layer of adhesive. Now, this is gonna definitely go through to the other side, okay? So make sure you have something on your table to protect because the way that this hat is made, it's not a solid surface, it is woven or weaved. So it's going to go right through, which means we're most likely gonna end up foiling both sides anyways. So a little bit about adhesive. Um, this stuff goes on milky white, as you can see. The darker your surface, um, the more you can see uh, the white of the foil adhesive. If your surface isn't that dark, it doesn't always look so milky white uh, and it will dry completely clear. The longer you can let this stuff sit, the better. It just likes to dry and dry to a nice, firm, hard tack. It'll still be sticky as can be but it's not gonna be a wet sticky, it will be a firm tack. And at that point, you'll receive and get your best foil transfer. So I would say the least amount of time, um, let it dry for at least 30 minutes, um, an hour is better. And if you're a super patient person, uh, you can definitely let that sit overnight. It's never going to dry beyond a firm tack. So it's not, it's not like you're gonna have what I refer to as a window of opportunity to transfer your foils that you, know, you put it on and you wait an hour and within two hours you have to come back, transfer. Once you put this on and it dries to a firm tack, it will never dry beyond a firm tack which means it will still be sticky tomorrow and a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, it's never gonna dry beyond that firm tack. So don't worry if you get interrupted in the middle of your project or you only have time to put your adhesive on and you wanna come back and work on your project tomorrow, it will be perfectly fine, I just suggest make sure you put it someplace safe so nothing else will get stuck to it before you're ready to transfer your foils. If you have animals in the house, 
make sure you do get it somewhere safe where um, the cat or the dog can't get stuck to it. And I'm only saying that because we've seen these projects happen. So get 100% coverage on all parts of the hat that you want to transfer and then just go put it someplace safe, let it sit and come back and do your foiling. So I'm gonna get the adhesive um, in the places I want to transfer, which is gonna be the whole brim here. And I'm probably gonna put some on the, the top as well, because I think it will be kind of boring up here if I don't have something to tie it in. So let me get this finished here. And I've had to keep dipping into my bucket and get a little bit more adhesive as I've been going around. but that's okay. You can always get more instead of having to put it back. Uh, okay, so let's decide what we wanna do here on the top, okay? I think, I think we're gonna put a little bit on this side, and I'm not gonna do, I think, the whole thing, but we'll also put some over on this side as well. And they'll just kind of be a little bit of an accent. We don't always have to have full coverage, but that'll just tie in the brim part to the top. Okay, we're gonna let this sit and do its magic, which means it's just going to get to a nice firm tack. And then we'll come back and work with our foils. So I allowed the foil adhesive to dry overnight, giving it plenty of dry time. I'm also working on a silicone mat. So um, as I was applying the foil adhesive, some of it actually soaked through to the other side. And you don't wanna put this just on paper because it could possibly stick. Also wanted to show you guys, I found this foam head, which was great to be able to put the hat on and allow it to dry without sticking to anything. So now it's time for our foil. And I'm just gonna put that aside for just a second. We have uh, this gorgeous animal print here called Maverick. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut a couple of pieces that'll work on this. And I think it might even be a great idea to make a little bit of a template first so not only are you cutting it in half this way um, to cover like just the width of the hat, but it might be easier to even cut out. And I'm gonna try one side here, okay? We're gonna cut out just a little bit of a curvature so that it will wrap around the shape a little bit better. We'll see how that works. And if that works really good, we'll go ahead and cut that for the other side as well. You know, it's always fun to try and figure out what will work the absolute best. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this on your side and just see, oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna help a lot and give us almost a full side wrap, okay? And the hat already has a really good curve going to it on the sides. I'm just trying to push all the way down. I'm gonna take my scrub brush. This is a plastic bristled scrub brush. I like uh, just like a nail brush from like Dollar Tree or any place like that. And then just scrub. This will hopefully get it into all that texture because we have, remember it is a weave, okay? So we have a lot of different levels for the foil to get attached to, getting down into all those little crevices of the basket weave, okay? And I always like to scrub really well first and then pull back and just get an idea of what we're getting here, okay? Now, we've got a little bit of a decision to make. Right now, it's catching all of the high area because the foil will always catch the top part before it'll release into the lower areas. And you can even see on the, the foil that's been released, how all the 
lower areas or where it would go into the lower area is still onto the carrier sheet. Now I can place this back and get it to hopefully go right back into that same spot, scrub again, and it should get into some of those lower areas for more coverage. But we are going to just pretty much pick up the high. And I'm glad I picked this foil because I was trying to find a color or a pattern that would be complementary to um, the hat color already, the straw color. And so as I release a section, I'll put it back down, scrub a little bit more so it can get into those lower areas and just continue. How fun is this going to be? We can always go from the other side so that you can continually always peek, see what kind of release you are getting, and then allow the foil to fall back into place and scrub again a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Look how incredible and fun that is gonna be, okay? So instead of seeing so much of the pattern because we have so much texture, from the uh, straw hat weave, we're probably not gonna see too much of the actual pattern. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut, again, a little bit of a curve, because that's gonna help your foil to lay down a little flatter and be able to get into position a little bit better. I'm going to try to match it up on the front and then we can always do a fill in on the back section. Oh, how fun. So we can cut off some of our scrap area here and you really do want to cut away the um, area of the foil that has already been transferred because those sections can get stuck really super well in um, the adhesive. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and piece in some of my scrap areas so I can minimize any waste. Okay, scraps are always great to fill back in. Okay, and then I have just a little section here. And you can always go down to a toothbrush. Again, I get all my brushes normally at the Dollar Tree. And we also put some adhesive on the top section. So I think it'll be a little easier to just use my toothbrush. You can fill where you have it. I'm kind of just grabbing some of my scraps. If I run out of scraps, I can always cut off another piece that I want to use up all my little pieces first. Let's see, back to my last side here. Okay, that added a lot, just bringing a little bit to the top to kind of tie it in. 
Now, there is a couple of things you can do here. If you decide you do not want to foil the bottom half, I still have my tag on it, okay? <laughs> Let's cut our tag off. Um, but if you decide that you don't want to foil the bottom section here, then all we need to do is seal it and we can just have our foil on the top. But if you want to foil both sides, um, I would go ahead and seal this side first, okay? And we can just use vinyl coat to seal everything with. And then I would go ahead and once this side is sealed, flip it over and you can either seal the bottom or put another layer of foil adhesive and foil the bottom as well. I think we're just gonna go for the top section uh, and not add foil to the bottom. So I'm just gonna pour some of my final coat out on just a foam plate. And final coat is a top coat that it will not harm the foils, stay flexible. And I normally put two or three layers on just depending on the project. And let's grab a brush here. And it just takes a, a thin coat. So you can just put on a couple of thin layers to protect. And this will also not only protect the foils, but seal back anywhere where it possibly still feels a little tacky or sticky. And then once we have our top coat on, then we can grab some decorative ribbon or even um, just some scrap pieces of foil and maybe add a little bit to the, this part of the hat just to give it a little bit more personality and be done. So this will be ready to go hang out anywhere, but it's definitely going to be a river hat for me. The final coat, if it's put on pretty thin, only takes about 15, 20 minutes to dry, but it does not take very long because it really is a super thin material. So I would give it probably about 20 minutes dry time. See if you need, if it still has any sticky filling. If it does, go ahead and put on a second coat. When that's dry, flip it over and do the other side. Now the other place you're gonna to wanna to check is check on the inside here in case any of the adhesive um, drip through to make this feel sticky. If it does, then go ahead and seal on the inside of the hat as well. So to finish it off, I just found this piece, it's a little bit of leather trim here that I'm just gonna put over the hat and just finish it off with just something real simple. And I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and put a little bit on the hat so that will stay in position. And I'm just putting on a thin, thin layer. I'm just going to slide this on. And I adjusted it first so I knew that it was going to fit the size and shape. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more hot glue right here so that sticks down. And that's it. So this beauty is going to be ready to wear and cover, shade my eyes, and have some fun. You will find all of the supplies listed in the comments below, so all your links will be right there for you. And do us a big favor, hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any of our upcoming videos.